Hello guys, hope you're having an awesome day. As I was at work, God started speaking to me a lot of scripture, and I'm going to share. I'm titling this, Are You Perplexed, Baffled, or Puzzled Today? God is the great I am. And there's an umbrella of protection over you and your family today. I'm reminded in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 8. Um, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to, de- driven to despair. Perplexed, baffled, or puzzled. And I looked up the meaning to perplexed. It means completely baffled and very puzzled. She gave him a perplexed look. Is that your current situation today? You're you're just puzzled and just don't know what to do? Well, let's pray before I finish these scriptures. Jesus, we come to you and you not unit and you <laughs> and unity and one accord. Pentecostal fire flow through each and every place where everybody is listening today. Help each and every one. Get rid of depression. And I know some are de- de- are despaired about their current search circumstances that are going on. But we declare victory in you, Jesus, by your stripes. Miracles happen. Healing and bodies, physically, emotionally. Money, work, health issues. In the name of Jesus, we call upon your name. Amen. Be generous and humble, thinking of things worthy of praise as you're going through the storms of life. Be the light of the world, Jesus says. Be merciful and be mindful of others. Don't think because you were saved longer that you're more important than the new Christians. And I wrote this scripture in Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. The last is first and the first is last. Or, It reminds me to be humble and not proud to newcomers. Be a blessing and not a curse. Respond not in anger, hostile, but be kind with kindness, meekness, softness of temper. And it also kind of reminds me to be humble in spirit. The humble in spirit will be first and the proud will be last. And that was in Matthew chapter 20 verse 16. It's not by might or force, but it's going to happen by His Spirit. Ephesians 6, 12. For we, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what do we do when we're facing demons and witches and curses? God says, don't be scared or afraid. Speak to the darkness in the name of Jesus and say, flee. I bind you, Je- I bind you in the name of Jesus, demon and evil. I bind your flight. I bind your mouth in the name of Jesus. And I send you into hell. In Jesus' name, go back to hell. I rebuke you, Satan. Get out of my house. Get out of my car. Get out of my school and my workplaces. The battle belongs to you, Lord, and rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Do not keep inviting them in by what you watch on YouTube and TV. These things come through electronics. Let God transform you by renewing your mind daily. Revelations 3.16 So because you are lukewarm... Neither hot nor cold. I'm about to spit you out of my mouth or spew you out of my mouth. God wants you to be on fire for him. Not just lukewarm. Go to church and go, eh, not really on fire for God. Um, Stay in tune daily with the spirit today. Curses, strongholds, chains, broken in the name of Jesus right now. God can infinitely do more than you can even ask or imagine in your head. 
God will finish what he started in you. Do not give up to temptation or do not give in to temptation or sin. Don't trade your birthright for temporary pleasure. God will put your hand over your mouth and give you the words to say in a particular situation. You you might say I'm too young, too old. You don't know what I've been through. But through the Holy Spirit, God will give you what to say and do. Ephesians 1.5 God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. Don't be timid and shy. Be courageous today. In a race we run, the world runs for first prize, but we are to seek the heavenly first prize. Seek heaven, the heavenly prize first before all. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth, believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Heaven? Hell? And I was also reminded to cherish the mo- the moments you have with people you love and hold them tight. You never know when God says that person's time on earth is done. Are you ready for Jesus' return? Do you know where you're going to go in heaven or hell? We don't know if we're promised tomorrow. Apologize to people you hurt. Reconcile with others. And in John 14, 2, it says, There is more than enough room in my father's home. There's more than enough room in my father's home. If there were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? Preparing a place for you in heaven. God has prepared a way for you. Make the best of the time on earth you have. Chase your dreams and and ambitions. Seek God's will in everything you do. Fan into flames the gift God has given you. That's 2 Timothy 1.6. Ephesians 6.10-18. The belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. The shoes of peace. Shield of faith. Helmet of salvation. A salvation. Are you battling demons and evil spirits and witches? Put on your full armor as you're going and you're perplexed and you're puzzled and you're confused and you don't know what to do and you did all you can do. Put on your full armor because remember, we're facing not flesh and blood enemies, but enemies of the unseen world. Pray in the spirit of all times and rebuke that evil in the name of Jesus. Pray for others. Keep his commands. Obey his commands. Keep one day for rest each week. Pray and seek God's counsel during that day. This is your battle strategy, says God. Stand firm in your faith. And that's in 1 Corinthians. I think it says 16, 13. Can't read my own writing. I felt, oh. <laughs> be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. And be courageous and be strong. Instruments of praise. Worship God and pray and seek repentance. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The Mighty God. The Everlasting Father. And that's Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. The next scripture is Matthew seventeen twenty. He replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. Do you have faith as small as a mustard seed? Imagine what you're going through, and you're just, you're confused and perplexed, and you don't know what else to do, and you feel like you're surrounded, and you just, that's it. I don't, I'm almost done. I'm about to give up. Well, God said, have that little faith of mustard seed. I command that mountain to move in the sea in the name of Jesus. 
Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Do not let your defenses down. Put your full armor on. Pray. Seize God. And be thankful for everything that God's blessed you with. He's determined your steps today. He's planned your perfect arrival in your promised land. In your destiny. Fruitful harvest. And not death and decay and destruction. Second Chronicles. 2 Corinthians 13, verses 11 and 12. Be joyful and grow to maturity. Encourage each other. Live in harmony and peace with each other. Then the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet each other with the sacred kiss. We might not greet each other, everyone with the kiss. But imagine being like that. Like if you're about to passionately kiss somebody. Come up to people and actually love them and give them hugs and actually care more about them than yourselves. Be servants and be humble. Be caretakers for Christ, army. When you've done all you can do and there seems no way possible out, leave it in God's hands today. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice on Calvary. God says if you... Don't see it. He will make a river through the desert of living water. Just dance and worship and praise. Don't seek alternative measures of the world. Seek Jesus Christ, your Savior today. He's not the author author of confusion. When you're trying to make a decision and you're worried about that decision and you don't have peace, then it's most likely not of God. God's answer is always peace. His door is always peace. It is not going to be confusing at all. And if you have a multi, like a, a, B, C, which way to go, and none of the answers are peace, then just wait on God's perfect timing. He will give you the answer. In the name of Jesus, we call upon you. Helping each and every one to keep the faith. To have seed, mustard seed of faith. To do not give up right before the finish. Right before the breakthrough. We're calling you in the, in the name of Jesus today. Miracle working God. That's able to do exceedingly more than we can ask. If you refuse to listen... Maybe God's trying to speak to you and you refuse to listen the answer. Sometimes God's answer is way different than what we can imagine. You know, he is God. He knows all. He created the universe, the stars, the moon. And we might think something's good for us, but God is over here saying, no, it's not. Seek his will in everything. Cast your worries into the sea. Worries keep your seed from growing and your roots from growing deep. Make sure your foundation is sturdy. And it goes deep down. Love others. Love others today. He will give you understanding for what you're going through. Don't be driven to despair. He knows the cost. He knows the pain. He knows the tears. He loves you so much. Thank you for listening. I, this should this podcast should be um, uploaded on YouTube also. Um, my YouTube channel is Kimberly Sims Courage Under Fire Ministry on YouTube, and it's the same thing on this podcast, Kimberly Sims Courage Under Fire Ministry on the Podbean app. I'm gonna wait a few seconds to see if God uh, speaks to me. Are you aware of your presence, Lord? Holy Spirit, we draw you in, Lord. Holy Spirit, fill the room, fill the atmosphere. We call upon your name in the name of Jesus. You're the Alpha and Omega. You are the I Am. 
I love you today. Share my podcast and YouTube channel with others. I love you so much. And I feel the presence and the peace right now. He will calm the waters. Peace be still during the storm. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We love you, Father. He said, Jeremiah, he put the, his mouth over Jeremiah's, his hand over Jeremiah's mouth and said, I will give you the words to speak. But I'm just a small boy. I will give you the words to speak in the name of Jesus. Keep your defenses up and your armor on. Love you guys. Have an awesome and blessed night.